a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Broward County Sheriff's Office The Broward County Sheriff's Office is a public safety organization responsible for law enforcement and fire protection duties within Broward County, Florida. The head of the organization is Sheriff Scott Israel. BSO is one of the largest fully accredited sheriff's offices in the United States. Composition The sheriff's office is composed of 5,800 employees, including approximately 2,800 certified deputies and approximately 600 firefighters. The BSO budget is approximately $700 million annually. 30-year veteran South Florida police officer and former North Bay Village Police Chief Scott Israel, a Democrat, was elected as sheriff by a 53% 47% vote in 2012, defeating incumbent Sheriff Al Lamberti, a Republican. Law Enforcement Currently BSO provides law enforcement services to all of the county's unincorporated areas, and the following municipalities and government facilities under contract. BSO law enforcement efforts use many specially trained deputies and units designed to provide maximum response efficiency in a variety of customary and unusual situations. Specialized BSO units include Aviation Unit Vehicle Fleet the Broward County Sheriff's Office currently operates three American Eurocopters for search and rescue, criminal apprehensions, missing persons, aerial surveillance, and deputy funeral service flyovers. Helicopters Communications The Communications Division of Broward Sheriff's Office is responsible for 911 emergency call taking, dispatch, and teletype services for all of Broward County. BSO operates Broward County's consolidated regional E911 communications system, which launched on October 1, 2013. BSO employs over 600 emergency operators and dispatchers in the consolidated regional E911 communications system, who work from three regional SAP call centers. Controversies and Criticisms during the 2018 school shooting in Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Broward County Sheriff's Office Deputy Scott Peterson who was a school resource officer at the scene of the shooting failed to enter the school to confront the gunman. Instead, he remained outside the building and waited for four minutes while the shooting was going on for six minutes, and thus violated the active shooter situation protocol requiring officers at the scene to immediately engage the attackers rather than wait for backups such as SWAT units. Allegedly, Coral Springs officers, who arrived at the scene of the shooting, found another three Broward County Sheriff's deputies cowering behind their vehicles. Controversies also flared, when the Broward County Sheriff's Department received numerous reports regarding Nicholas Cruz's dangerous behavior that posed a serious risk to the community. However the department failed to investigate and prosecute Cruz for his actions. Reports also ignored numerous dangerous signs of serious crime, including threats, abuse, and multiple other crimes committed by Cruz. News agencies have found 45 reports from students, families, and witnesses begging for help, but has never been investigated or processed. Detention and Community Control the Broward Sheriff's Office operates the 12th largest local jail system in the United States, and the second largest to have earned national accreditation from both the Commission on Accreditation for Corrections and American Correctional Association. The Department of Detention and Community Programs oversees all jail facility operations and community-based offender programs within Broward County. The BSO jail system consists of four detention facilities that are responsible for holding persons awaiting trial or serving sentences of less than one year. In addition to running the detention facilities, the Department of Community Control is responsible for running the county's probation and reintegration services for criminal offenders. The Department of Community Control also runs the county's in-custody health care and mental health care programs. Annually, approximately 63,220 inmates crossing every ethnic Age and socio-economic group are booked into BSO's jail for crimes ranging from civil infractions to murder. The average daily population at all jail facilities, including work-release inmates, 
exceeds 4,600 and is expected to rise each year. The department's Transportation Bureau moves nearly 180,000 inmates annually between facilities, to and from court appointments, and to and from state prison. Many inmates arrive with drug or alcohol addictions, mental health problems, or both, requiring BSO to administer a range of medical and rehabilitative programs. Special units like the Emergency Response Team and Security Threat Group assist detention facility staff in maintaining a secure and productive environment for inmates and facility personnel. BSO puts non-violent criminals to work in its inmate work program, which saves Broward County taxpayers more than $1.2 million annually in labor costs related to neighborhood and community-wide improvement projects. History in 1982 Broward County Emergency Medical Services merged with Broward County Fire Protection Division to form what in 1991 would become Broward County Fire Rescue which was a fire rescue agency providing fire and EMS services to unincorporated Broward County. During the 1990s Port Everglades Public Safety and the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport Fire Departments joined with Broward County Fire Rescue. In October 2003, control of Broward County Fire Rescue was transferred to the Broward Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Ken Jenner from the Broward County Board of County Commissioners. The name of the organization was then changed to the Broward Sheriff's Office Department of Fire Rescue and Emergency Services. Prior to being taken over by BSO, Broward County Fire Rescue was being considered for elimination since, at the time the majority of their fire station was serving unincorporated areas of Broward County. Today, BSO DFRE has become a largely contracted fire service agency with 15 of their 21 fire stations being located in contracted municipalities. Fire Prevention and Education In addition to providing fire suppression and EMS services, the Fire Marshal's Office provides fire inspection services to all areas served by the department. The Fire Marshal's Office conducts origin and cause investigations of all fires and routinely relies on the assistance of the Florida State Fire Marshal's Office and BSO Department of Law Enforcement for assistance with incendiary fires and arson cases. The Fire Marshal's Office also conducts public education for the county as well operating the county-wide juvenile fire setters program. Operations BSO operates five battalions in 22 different locations throughout the county and includes 17 engines, seven aerials, one industrial fire truck, three aircraft fire rescue crash trucks, three medevac helicopters, 23 ALS transport units and a cross-staffed brush truck, chemical fire suppression truck, and foam tanker. With more than 700 professional and highly trained operations, support and administrative personnel, the department provides fire suppression, fire protection, emergency medical services and educational programs for most unincorporated areas of Broward County and to the municipalities of Weston, Pembroke Park, Cooper City, Lauderdale Lakes, Dania Beach, and Deerfield Beach through contract agreements. Additionally, the department serves Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and Port Everglades. Fire Rescue also administers the hazardous materials, Air Rescue, Everglades Rescue and the Technical Rescue Teams, each addressing unique and frequently complex and dangerous public safety situations. These teams operate countywide. 22 stations for fire suppression and advanced life support medical rescue operate in various locations in the county, 15 as engine companies and 5 as aerial companies. There is also an air rescue station located at the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. The BSO stations follow the Broward County Uniform Station Numbering System. Domestic Violence Prevention Broward County Sheriff's Office works in partnership with Women in Distress to prevent domestic violence. WID is a nationally accredited, state-certified, full-service domestic violence center in Broward County. Its mission is to provide victims of domestic violence with safe shelter, crisis intervention and resources, and to educate the community in order to stop abuse for everyone through intervention, education and advocacy. Explorer Program The Law Enforcement Explorers Program 
at the Broward Sheriff's Office is a program that works with teens and young adults by allowing them to interact with law enforcement and other community advisors in a serious, regimented atmosphere where the students can demonstrate their personal initiative. The program offers young adults the opportunity to learn and experience lawful citizenship as they participate side by side with certified BSO deputies in ongoing training and community service projects. To qualify for membership, candidates must be at least 14 years of age, must achieve and maintain satisfactory school grades, and must make a conscientious effort to stay out of trouble. Candidates under 18 years of age must have the approval and cooperation of a parent or guardian. Media. The Broward County Sheriff's Office was featured prominently in the first season of Cops in 1989. Other reality TV shows which featured BSO included Police Women of Broward County and Unleashed, K9 Broward County. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?